Have you been thinking about purchasing a home and is the idea of a newly built home in your wildest dreams? Well, it may not be so far-fetched after all. Today, we're going to talk about how it may be possible. Hey, everybody. My name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Likely Real Estate, and today we're talking about newly built homes. Now, historically, newly constructed homes made up about 13% of the housing market. Well, today, it makes up about 33% of the housing market. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? It means that with inventory being so tight, there's been such a surge with new construction, which gives you more options. Now, as we all know, there's two types of homes that are available on the market. You've got those that are already existing, meaning that they're lived in, and then you've got the new construction, which means they're completely brand new. And I've done some videos in the past that give you some pros and cons to each. Obviously, with already existing homes, you've got the infrastructure and schools that are already built and around the area, so you know what you're getting into when you move in. And then the newly constructed homes obviously are more energy efficient and more up to date and everything is brand new. Now you may think that that's completely out of your budget, but builders know what buyers want. They want an affordable house and they want something that's going to be in demand. So builders today are building smaller homes that might be in your price range after all. This graph shows the difference in just one year between newly constructed homes and already existing homes. So not only is the gap between newly built homes and already existing homes shrinking, but builders are offering incredible incentives lately. Whether it's price cuts, covering closing costs, buying down rates, there's a lot of incentives out there. 